Hello all, my name is Ravinder Nagulavancha. Today we will learn how to create user faults in web services exposed under the data integration service. So in this video, I will show how to do the fault mapping in the developer tool. This is uh, typically useful in any request validation scenario uh, where you want to validate the SOAP request that you are sending or uh, you can apply any kind of business logic to route the success and fault responses accordingly. So let me switch to the developer tool. So this is the developer tool that I have opened and uh, I have created a simple web service. So I'm not going to show you how to create the web service and uh, um, there are other videos that show this in detail. So, so this is already a created web service. Let me quickly show you. So this is like a very simple one. There is nothing in the, you know, this one, if you can see, it's just the input expression and output. That's about it. There is pretty much nothing here. So I can even show a simple preview. So this is a SOAP request as you can see and you can see the SOAP response here. So I'll just show how to you know uh, do the fault mapping here. So let me open the mapping in full screen. So let me add a fault mapping. Add transformation. Fault. Here I'm using a generic fault. If you have a predefined fault already existing in the visual, you can use that. I don't have it, but still, you know, it is flexible enough to create a generic fault. So let me remove this and add a router to route. I'm adding, adding two groups here. One is the fault one and the filter condition. I'll put it I'm just using a simple condition here, not really. So uh, that expression, so I will use the same similar expression, the inverse of the expression, the fault. So you can pretty much understand this one, right? So if the element is equal to bad, I'm going to send it to the fault response. If not, it's a success. So yeah, it's a pretty simple scenario, come to think of it, but it's just an example. So my success guy goes to the this one and uh, Okay, let's route it to this guy. Let's add one more output port here and put position fifty. Okay. 
aqui. So this one. This is just a part code. So yeah, my forward mapping is pretty much done. You can see so there you go. So let's do the data viewer on this and uh, Let's run this. Okay, so it's done. It got the response back. Let's do a you know false scenario here. Okay, so you can see it's a soap fault, proper soap fault with a false string that we are customizing here. So yeah, this is a you know very simple uh, uh, input validation scenario. You can apply any kind of logic in, in fact, midstream or any business logic to do this. Say the same, but uh, that's the whole idea, right? So that's about it uh, for the video. So thanks for watching the video. For any feedback, you can email at supportvideosatinformatica.com or twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.